Hi, and welcome back to a five minute guide. Today, I'll be looking at Spark AR and activating a sound with my mouth. So I'm using my cat's uh, meow. Um, we basically teased her with some salmon yesterday. She made lots of noises and uh, basically I've taken that and, and dropped it into this. So we're gonna look at sound and how that works within the patch editor. So basic stuff, we're using uh, face finder, select the face, uh, the face tracker in this case, because that's all I'm working with. Um, open mouth, and it only does the open mouth, not openness, because then it would be happening a lot quickly. Uh, the pulse gets fired into the single click controller, then we've got the audio player, and then we've got the track, and then we've got the speaker. Always make sure you add a speaker, because if you don't add a speaker, you'll never hear that sound. Also, from what I understand, and what I've seen, you need multiple speakers for multiple sounds. You can't have one speaker for all the sounds to go into, as I've seen it. However, if you know it can be done a different way, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we'll get back into it. So the cat noise happens. So you can see there that the pulse is fired through and picks up the audio clip. But what happens if you want to do multiple clips as we were just briefly discussing? Well, the way to do that is and in traditional uh, Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. So ooh, we'll just pause that one for a moment quickly, go back over to the multi one. So this is exactly the same, there's not much different, except for I've added in um, a multi clip. There's a second sound, if you heard it. I've added in a, a delay to fire off a multi clip controller. Now, whether or not I actually needed this, maybe I could have just done it with a single clip controller. Maybe that would have been fine. But apparently, from what I saw, you could use this multi clip controller. Uh, I took another sound that I'd taken from Harley and we added it in. Uh, FYI, Harley's up there in the corner. And there's the older player and there's the second speaker. So like I said, you know, you need multiple speakers for multiple sounds. However, if you have found another way to do it, in the comments below, please. Um, and that's basically it. So what I would suggest doing is taking this and applying it to whatever else you're building next, be it a world tracker, be it some objects falling down like uh, in a particle emitter, or if you're playing a game that uh, requires you to tap on the screen to select items, or it could be something that lands on your shoulder, makes a funny noise, or you something you can flick off, you make noises, you move your head. I mean, that's the thing. I've attached this just to the mouth, but you could attach it to any part of the body, uh, well, the face itself, to fire off the sound. Anyway, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, there are some other five-minute guides if you'd like to click on the link uh, below. Uh, that'd be very much appreciated. Thanks for your time, guys.